the world of computing, it's often that small means big. The smaller something gets, the bigger its power. In quantum computing, small is of the essence. It's based on the principles of quantum mechanics, the area of physics that deals with energy and matter at atomic and subatomic levels. And with this ultra-smallness at heart, it is said to have the potential for especially big powers. According to some, it's set to be capable of more than anything that can be achieved today in classical computing, including supercomputers. What could it mean for actuaries? Could it alter actuarial work? Quantum computing has the potential to transform uh, actuarial work. Um, however, its real impact will depend on how accessible and practical the technology becomes. Um, actuaries deal with complex models, um, statistical simulations, large data sets, etc. These are areas where um, quantum computing could, in theory, handle tasks uh, much more efficiently. You know, it, it won't change the way we interact with uh, actuarial questions or we try to answer actuarial problems. I think what it can provide is a, a much more efficient platform to so solve certain types of actuarial problems. The main potential uses of quantum computing are in financial modeling, cybersecurity, material science, and medicine. In future, it could assist actuaries with the likes of optimizing investment portfolios, completing large capital estimation or asset and liability management tasks, protecting against cyber risk and making products more secure, and encoding entire life tables efficiently. Other quantum technologies could also prove helpful, such as quantum random number generation in modeling. Classical computers use bits, a binary code of zeros and ones. Quantum computers use qubits, which can be zeros, ones, or a combination of both. This is due to the quantum physics principle of superposition where one thing can exist in two different states at the same time. Like the theoretical Schrodinger's cat, which is famously both dead and alive. In this way, qubits offer a whole new dimension to problem solving and the capabilities of algorithms. And with it comes speed and efficiency. While quantum computing is anticipated to be years, Perhaps decades away from being in more common use, Zianet Zaharieva and Muhammad Amjad advise actuaries to find out more. So I do think the uh, actuaries should get interested because it can, um, I mean, even though I said it's not going to revolutionize actuarial work the way AI might in terms of the way we interact with problems, but it might give us new ways of thinking about existing problems that, you know, the actuaries haven't thought of before. So from that point, it's, it's, uh, it's valuable. And uh, I think the other thing is that unless we spend time on trying to use this technology, we won't realize its potential. Uh, actuaries should understand what quantum computing is, uh, the types of problems it could solve, and keep an eye on how it's developing. Um, firms that stay informed and explore partnerships or research projects will be uh, in a strong position when it becomes more practical. While some quantum computers with specific capabilities are already available and in use, it's an emerging market. But in time, how significant might it be? Quantum technology companies are seeing record levels of investment, according to management consultancy McKinsey. It estimates a potential global market value of more than one trillion US dollars in the next decade. For companies in this fast-growing sector, what might engagement with actuaries look like? Um, quantum computing, I would say, certainly holds a huge potential to transform how actuaries uh, model and understand risk. But it is important to remember that I would say not a single technology, even one as powerful as this, will uh, redefine the profession on its own. So we have to be adaptable 
to um, you know the development of the technology and um, you know the progress that that has been made on the use case um, side of things. So I think uh, in terms of the future of this technology for for actuarial actuarial use, I think there's two factors that you know that, that are important. One is this actuarial pull factor, i.e., actuaries learning to use this technology and and coming up with business cases where you know quantum computing can be useful so you know i mentioned optimization as one there, there might be others the other side of things is um you know the supplier push side which is that it is in the interest of you know these uh, quantum computing companies to make it easier for um you know businesses to utilize quantum computing quantum computing companies will have this pressure to make quantum computing accessible to the to the everyday user without having to think about you know the the fundamental principles of quantum mechanics and so on for recent articles on this topic from the actuary including a special quantum series visit theactuary.com